Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today, we have a fun art project from Shannon Wood, an art teacher from Maryland. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hi, my name is Shannon Wood and I'm the art teacher here at Middletown Elementary School. And I'm going to be creating a series of videos for you um, so that you can learn to create art through Artsonia's After School Art Club. For this project, you're going to need a piece of drawing paper, you're going to need a pencil, and a permanent marker. One permanent marker is fine, but if you also have an ultra-thin permanent marker, those are nice for some of the smaller details. Alright, let's get started. Alright, we're going to go ahead and draw our tree. I'm going to start right out with my Sharpie because I've already drawn mine and erased the pencil lines. But you may want to start out with your pencil and erase your pencil lines and then outline. Alright, so I'm going to start by making the trunk of the tree by making two lines that run parallel to each other coming down. All right, I'm now going to draw the root system. You want to make your trunk fairly wide. Um, a good rule of thumb might be your wrist, and since you guys are younger, you'll have smaller um, forearms that you can put in there or your wrist, um, but you want it to be fairly wide at the trunk. And then I'm going to make a root system. I'm going to make very simple, just curved line and that's going to be my root system. Now you can go in and make real jagged lines. That's totally up to you. This side is going to have a cut off branch. So I curved the line and cut the branch as if somebody cut it. I'm now going to make a V, and this is going to be another branch. So you see that V? You want to keep growing your tree. You're going to need those V's. You want to come out kind of wide. I'm going to come out on this side too, like that. So now I've got a nice big start. My tree can grow out this way. up and start making a branch that goes up that way. I'm going to add another one of those V's to separate out my branches. And I'm going to come up this way on the one side and this way on the other. Might come over here and add another side to that branch. And you see how towards the bottom of the tree here, my branches are very wide very large. You don't want spindly little branches towards the base of your tree. The spindly stuff will be at the top. You want room for your tree to grow big and strong. All right. Every once in a while you may want to cap off a branch by just making either a point um, or a circle if it's been cut. I'm going to make another V and I'm going to make another branch up this way. I might cap that one off, come down and make another V to connect that branch. So there's a couple of V's, three right in a row. Those V's help us separate our branches. All right, so this V is gonna point upside down or backwards there and come down this way because your branches don't always have to grow upwards. They can grow down or sideways. And I'm gonna make a point around, make another V, and come up this side. All right. Now this is an awfully wide, big branch, so I kind of want to split that. So I think I'm going to make another V right here, and I'm going to make like an exaggerated V so that it really looks like it's growing down into the tree like that. Right off the page with that branch. I think I'm going to do the same thing over here. Makes an interesting negative shape there in between. Now I'm going to put in another V and make this into two branches that are splitting off of this original one. Let's make another V and another branch. Coming up here, we're going to make another branch over here. That 
side of the tree, so I'm going to go over to this side. I'm going to make a nice, deep, exaggerated V over here, which will help us separate this branch. For the next step, we're going to start making a background for our tree. So I'm going to start by making a curved horizontal line that goes back behind my tree so that there's some land that my tree is sitting on. All right, And then I'm going to make some mountains. lines to my tree will add some interest to it. Alright, so there's my tree. Now I think I'm going to take my thin marker and I'm going to add a few blades of grass. Now I'm going to add a few lines on my mountains. I might add little curved lines to the top to indicate that they might be snow-capped mountains. I'm going to add a few sketchy lines on the side just to give it some interest. Got some texture back there. I might add a few birds to my sky. Since this is a nighttime scene with a moon, you could add bats if you want it kind of a spooky look to it. Right? That's up to you. But kind of have fun with it. Alright? My nighttime drawing of a tree is finished. All right, you can leave it like this. You can add color. I'm going to add color in another video using watercolor paint. So if you're interested in painting it, um, join me for my next video. Otherwise, feel free to color it in any way you want to with colored pencils, crayons, pastels would be pretty too. Or you can leave it black and white. Totally up to you. All right, thanks for joining me.